Hi guys, uh, Dan here at Doodle Design. I'm just doing a little recap on the glasses I've been working on. The evolution of uh, the Doodle Design. On the first, this was the first pair I made, and this is the second pair. Um, they're both made out of wood. This one's white oak, and this one's white oak that's stained and mahogany. Um, on the first pair, I didn't really know what I was doing. So I ended up using actual hinges and fastened them with nails and it ended up looking pretty rough. So I wasn't too happy with that and it resulted in much larger frames and that's not very appealing either. So I definitely wanted to change that. The nose piece wasn't too bad but it definitely needed some work. And uh, yes, the, the steel hinges did result in them opening outwards instead of inwards. So, I thought maybe it was handy if you were tucking it up above your visor, but other than that, pretty inconvenient. So, definitely not uh, very functional. And the lenses on this pair, I just carved a groove around the frame and set them in with some glue. And that was looking rough too, so I wasn't too happy. So, I definitely wanted to attempt another pair. This wasn't too, too bad. It's pretty funny. This pair, I ended up making actual wooden hinges. There's another U YouTube video. It just shows the raw hinge before I glued it all together and shaped it up. Um, it's just a nail that's pinning it through. I left the nail head on top because I like that look. You can definitely grind that off and um, fasten it with some glue on the top and on the bottom and leave the middle free for function. But... Um, the wooden hinge definitely turned out very well on this this pair and the more time you put into that that little joint the better it all works out um, the lenses on these turned out real great I used a Dremel tool the lens just pops right out but it is mounted right into the frame um, all you have to do if you're attempting this yourself is you put the lead in the depth you desire and you keep a nice fine line all the way around you follow that with the disc on the Dremel until it's uh, sitting the lens in there nice and comfy and that's all it takes to get that in there and that was a great change because it really makes the frames compact and much more appealing <laughs> I've worn these out a couple times. I like them. Other than the fact that they're just a little off still, and that's just the angle of the arms, but you definitely got to work that out uh, and pay more attention when you're gluing things together. It's tough to account for everything, but I accounted for the angle that these hug your face, like the angle of the frame this way and the angle of the frame this way there's about a 10 degree slant on these that sits them on your nose nice and I spent a lot of time on the nose piece just to have that nice and comfortable I'd like to get away from the square look but other than that I would definitely build another pair my sister suggested doing um, a pair for the ladies so I'd love to try that out maybe with some purple heart some purple wood that'd look pretty wicked so we'll see what's to come but for now these turned out really well just first first and second attempt and um, yeah I couldn't be happier these fold in quite nicely just they really turned out nice anyways Thank you very much for your time. Good luck on your first pair. And uh, hopefully this helps you cut some corners. Thank you.